So welcome everybody to this channel once again and in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a basic double exposure effect in Photoshop. So let's get into the video. So to create this effect you will need two particular images that is your picture and the image you want it to be exposed to. So I have a picture right over here and I'm opening it in Photoshop. So if I, I've already done the cutting and um, if you want to see how to do the cutting, you can check out from my videos. I have a video on that. So the first thing that I would like to do is go to here and then I'll add a solid color to it. Now I'll add a very plain white background to it and then I'll bring it down and I have this here. Now the next thing that I'll do is go and bring uh, the image that I want it to be exposed to. So you adjust it nicely and then you place it at where you want the exposure to take effect so I think somewhere around this place would do for me now when you are done go ahead and right click and go to rasterize layer now select your first image that is the image of the gentleman right over here and go to the blending options and set it to light I can see that the transparency or the exposure has already taken place and that is the basic one so with this uh, layer selected hold control on your keyboard and then left click on it so you make a selection of the gentleman right over here and then press control shift and I on your keyboard to create the inverse of um, the selection that you made now select the second image and hit on delete now you can press ctrl d on your keyboard to deselect it and i think uh, at this point most of you can see how far we've come with the exposure now to make this look very beautiful you go and select the first image go to image adjustment and desaturate the image okay so i have this right over here and the last thing that i will do is i will add a gradient to it i'll select this gradient click ok then i'll change it to radial i'll reverse it and then i will scale it up a bit and have this right away so you can have time for yours and you play around with any two images of your image and you're going to have something very beautiful for yourself so I hope this tutorial in a way or two helped you and if it did, I hope you give it a like and you subscribe to my channel for more videos.